So I have a really exciting video for you today and I kind of look, well actually really look ratchet, but I've had a really long day but I still want to film this video which is so my travel makeup bag and it is a really big guy. It's like I would never bring this much makeup. Um, but yeah, I did. And so yeah, I'm going to Florida in a little while and I was afraid that if I didn't film soon enough I wouldn't be able to get it off before I left because I'm not probably going to post anything while I'm in there because that would be a struggle. Um, but I will when I get packed because I make a lot of fun videos for you guys. So yeah, I have a lot. So literally normally I wouldn't bring this much. She's like me and my friend, she's like pack more and I was like I really don't want to. Um, but I am. Also, I just really love makeup so I'm so judge. Alright, so let's just get into this because um, <laughs> it's it's a problem. Like it's it's a problem guys, but we just have to just get in here. So the first thing in here was my beauty blender and this is just you know my little fake one to blend out foundation and then i'm not bringing an actual foundation i'm just bringing a bb cream and it's in its own little baggie so it, like since it's squeezy if it like spilled it would just get in here and not everywhere which would be horrible so i just kept it in its own little thing and it's the maybelline dream fresh bb cream and this is in the medium shade and the second thing i'm bringing is um a primer well, actually, third thing, but um, primer, it's baby skin, you know, just the Maybelline one. Um, and it's in this baggie too, because it's that thing. A little squeezy too. So I brought a little makeup pad, in case I lose, like, my sponge or something. And let's see. I'm bringing a pencil sharpener. This one has, like, the big, sounds really wrong, with the big hole and the smaller one for, like, regular size and, like, big stumble pencils. And I have this little brush in here. It's like a highlighting brush. It's really good for, like, on top of here because... I don't want to bring each one because I don't use it that often. But so I thought this one would be perfect size, so I just threw it in the bag so I won't lose it. Um, I'm bringing Sunbeam for my highlighter. Um, so yeah. Um, also, I okay. So I put this. You know the Elf Caprice brush. Um, I always blend out my makeup with it, but I put it in this little brush thing so when it's in my bag, it won't like get all puffy. It'll just stay in this little plastic thing. So it looks really weird now, guys. For mascara, I'm bringing two different kinds. The first one is the Mindy Lash Stiletto, which I love. It's the waterproof version in black, I'm guessing. Yeah. This is an amazing mascara, guys. I tried it, and I wasn't expecting it to be that great because it looks really thin, and then I saw this, I was like, it's gonna be. It reminds me of the um, Benefit Great Lash Mascara. Look at, I mean, it's, it looks like it gives a lot of length. Not as much volume, but it gives a lot of length to my lashes, and it's amazing. And hopefully, I haven't really tested it in water because obviously I haven't gone swimming here. Um, but hopefully, it will be good. Like, they're just, they're so loud. Um, I'm also bringing a little mini mascara. I'm bringing the Tarte one, which is also amazing for volume. Like, it has a really nice brush on it. And I'm just bringing a little mini one because it's like a little cute pack. For lip balm, I'm bringing the ALS and Lemon Drop because it has SPF 15 for my lips because I don't want them to get all dried out in the sun. So yeah. Um, concealer. Let's go with the concealer. Just bringing the Maybelline New York concealer, the Fit Me one, because it's kind of a darker color and it has a wand, so I wouldn't need to bring a brush for like the little so I'm bringing a lot of Maybelline face products. I just realized. Oh look, here's another one. I'm bringing the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush, and this is in Pink Frosting, and this one's like a frosted pink, and it's a cream blush, that's why I'm bringing a bunch of cream blush, guys, because, um, cream blush is really, really great, um, in the water, because it will stay on longer, I don't know if it will stay on completely, I've never really tried it, but, yeah. I'm also bringing the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Natural, it's just like this really pretty pink color. I don't even know if you can see it. It's just like a lightish pink and it'll be really natural. You can just blend it out. Um, for a powder blush, I'm bringing Corlisa, a little mini one. These are really cute. They're by Benefit, you know, obviously. But you just kind of open them up and they're like these little things. I think they're really cute. But I'm also bringing Hula for my bronzer. And that's the only bronzer I'm bringing. Um, I'm also bringing the San Francisco BH Cosmetics palette. And I love this palette because it's perfect for the face and eye. It has these shadows on the side, some dark ones, some neutral, and then like 
a lot of brighter shadows, and then you open up the middle part, sorry for my ratchet hands, and the plastics. They have blushes. Um, this could be a bronzer, but I prefer it as a blush, and that's definitely a highlighter, because like that is that is white. Like Yeah, so that's why I brought the, um, the highlighter brush for that powder highlighter. And I brought a lot of lip, and oh, well, here's a random powder, just I'm using the Body Shop powder. <laughs> you can see everything on my vanity. It's like a mirror. Um, so it just looks like that. It's pretty tan. I mean, you just tap it lightly and put it on. It's, I'm pretty sure it's like a foundation. Yeah, it's like a foundation powder. I'm just gonna tap it really lightly and then put it on over my BB cream or just wear it by itself since it is a foundation. Put it on a little, a little more compact. Um, but yeah, and it's a tanner color, so it's more, it's more tan. So I could also use it as a bronzer if I want to and just lay it on a little more, you know, where I want to be bronze. Okay, this is my brush bowl, but we will just, we'll, we'll just go through it really quickly. Really quickly, I don't want to bore you guys with my brushes. Oh god, okay. So I have the, they're all in the little, okay, okay well then. Um, but they're all in the little plastic things in this just so they don't get all fuzzed up. So this is the e.l.f. Um, the e.l.f. powder brush. And that one just kind of sits in here along with two other blush brushes. A little Bare Minerals one, which is really cute because it can just like fit perfectly in here. And then an e.l.f. one. Just the e.l.f. Yeah, it's just the regular blush brush. It was just sitting here. And then I brought a couple spoolies for like my eyelashes and eyebrows. Got the Eco Tools Kabuki for a bronzer because it fits into the blue, I think, perfectly and it blends really nicely. And then here are my eye brushes. I'm bringing an Eco Tools fluffy one, this um, little angled one, a Clinique eyeshadow brush, brush, not blush, um, another e.l.f. one, and then I'm like a Forever Clean one one. So those are all the brushes I'm bringing. I try not to overwhelm myself with brushes, especially since I tend to buy brushes on vacation. I don't why last time I went to Florida I came home with a lot of brushes so and then for eyes I'm bringing this NYX Love & Paris palette this is Madeline's in the macaroons it is just a really pretty neutral eyeshadow palette it's got a bunch of different shades this BH one it has some neutrals but it's more funky I call it so this is just going to be perfect for an everyday look I know that's like a lot of eyeshadow but um, I, I can't even justify it but um, I'm also just bringing the color tattoo out of bronze because it's a perfect base for my eyelids and it stays on in water pretty well. And I'm also bringing the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and depotted version, obviously I depotted it. And it's milk. What other? Oh god, okay. Almost on the eye products here, guys, I promise. Um, I'm bringing this, it's like a, a baby blue, you can see it, eyeliner. It's super pretty swatch it for you guys oh my parents have decided to start talking again yeah so it's just like a really pretty baby blue so like if I didn't want to put eyeshadow on because I don't know what I'll be feeling I can just kind of like line and be and be ready to go for waterliner I'm bringing this covergirl one it's just a black it's the perfect blend and then it has like a little blender thing on the side on the end and for my eyebrows, I take this, because this, oh, okay, well, that one falls off, too. But this lid always falls off, and it's, like, a sharpener in itself, so I think that is awesome. It's an eyebrow lift and filler by NYX, so it has the lifter side here. I like green black, because then I can show you, like, the colors and everything. And I'm not going to take it off, but it's just, like, a brownish pencil part. You can see for to fill in my eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> then, for black, like, on top for waterliner, not water. Guys, I'm so tired, it's not even funny. Um, this is a waterproof liner by Sephora, and I'm sure you've seen this because this is like one of my favorite ones besides the e.l.f. one. It's just like a felt tip in liquid. It's really cool. Um, I'm not bringing the e.l.f. one. I love that one so much. I love the brush, but it's not waterproof. And this, I find, is really great for that. And then the e.l.f. eyelid primer. I don't really know if it even does anything, but I'm bringing bunch of different bases, so I thought why not, because I don't want to lose like the Urban Decay one. And then the rest is, oh, and then I brought 
um, posy tint and cha-cha tint little mini ones. I don't really use these for my lips. I mean, I totally could, but I don't. I more use them for my cheeks. So this kind of counts as a cheek product, which is you know, a lot of cheek product. And then the rest are lips. So I'm bringing in all my liquid lip balm and blooming balm because I brought one last time and I wore it like every day because they, they were so pigmented. And this I just is a light pink, so pretty much go over anything I put on my lips. That's awkward, just like sitting in my camera view right there. Um, bringing a BB lips, and this is from the Neon Collection Strike a Rose. Oh, guys, this is so pigmented. I never realized how pigmented these were. I mean, I did rub it a few times, but look at that. I thought I really want to wear a lot of bright lips because it's going to be like fun and like, you know, warm and summery there. I'm also bringing this CoverGirl Smooth Cheese Lip Balm. It's not too much at all because I have too much, you know, stuff in. Um, but I was saying if I swatch it, it wouldn't, it's just more of a, a frosted by itself. You can kind of see it's like a purple tinted floss. So I thought it'd be a really pretty floss just over anything. If I just want to wear it by itself, if I didn't want like a ton of product on, it's going to be super hot. Um, oh god, okay. Um, but it's a really pretty gloss, so over anything this would look really pretty. And it's super moisturizing, which I just love moisturizing things, especially when it gets warmer out. And we only have two more products in here, guys. The NYX Color Lip Balm. I'm bringing so many, like, tinted lip balms, because this is just what I like to wear. I don't like to wear a lot of heavy-duty lipsticks. And this is so pigmented. Okay, wait, that wasn't a good one. Okay, that's like, yeah. For a tinted lip balm from NYX, I was so impressed with this. It's a little melty, oh god. Whew. Uh, but it's really... Oh, no, that's not... There it is. It's like a nice red color. You can definitely build up the color, which I love. Or you can just kind of put like a sheer tint on and be done with it. So I also really love fun colors, so that's why I bought the red. And then the last thing is a lipstick. I know I, I was just like, I don't like wearing lipsticks, but I did want to bring one. And it's a fun color. It's the Elf Moisturizing Lipstick in... I think mix. I don't really like the moisturizing ones that much. I don't feel really moisturizing, but they're really pretty. But the packaging is really bad, I'm sorry. Um, so it just looks like that. I would definitely swatch it for you because it's really pretty. It's like a really, like, it's like a mauve hot pink in a way. Like, if I were to school, people would definitely be like, that's not, that's, you have something on your lips that's not natural at all. So that's why I decided to bring it because it hasn't been getting a lot of love and I decided it did. I needed some. So, thankfully that is it in this. And um, I kind of showed myself packing other things. I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm so tired. I think I'm just gonna go lay down and watch some YouTube videos or edit this one. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's everything I brought. I know it's a lot, literally it's a problem. But I just want to create a lot of different fun looks, so that's why I have so much and my friend will be selling my makeup. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't bore you for too much. And yeah, next time I post, probably post two videos today, just a lot. I'll post one today, I'll post one tomorrow, and then um, post, yeah, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But anyway, like this video, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.